Okay, the day has come to Maiden, my new 5 easy piece, MiG-29 Fulcrum. And I have, unfortunately, I only printed one of the, uh, one copy of the drawing that I found at the military aircraft drawing download site. And so I'll just have to show you the uh, print as I glued it to the uh, home core to make my template. But as you can see, uh, I did not change the Elevon at all. This is the actual uh, print of it. I didn't add any more to it. It's just, it's just the same as the drawing shown. So it's like the real plane in proportion to the, uh, the rest of the plane. So we'll uh, Let's we'll see how that works. Once again, on the fuselage and the cell, uh, I just cut the image apart, added in the uh, inside pieces to that uh, made up with the other pieces of the uh, the cell. It folds up just like that. I did a little experimentation here, varying from uh, other ones that I've done. I have a um, kind of a folded in, wrapped around sort of nacelle, but it it makes for a rather small and somewhat difficult to manipulate uh, compartment. But I do have my my speed control all off to one side of the nacelle. The battery, as such, is clustered right there in front of the motor. I even toyed with the idea of putting a solid piece here, but didn't do it. May end up just not having this piece forward and just have a brace piece that uh, folds over to the back. I don't know. I'm still I'm still working on that, so I'm not quite ready to publish the plan. But uh, as you can see, I have carbon, a five millimeter carbon tube, uh, put across there. I used to, you know, try to embed them and glue them in. Anymore, I just tape them on. Um, it works for me. And I've got a three millimeter tube run uh, down each, the long way down each uh, Elevon, di Elevon diagonally. Again, this is just a simple uh, three channel setup. 20 amp ESC, recent hobby, micro jet motor. Again, as you can see, it's cut from the Oh, one more thing I want to show you. I did. Like I did on the Pakva, I uh, was playing around with adding these little pieces here to sort of strengthen this. This is rather long. Trying to, trying to strengthen this uh, nacelle as it, as it retreats. But I've had cracking occurring in some of these, and I wanted to kind of see what I could do and see if that causes any problems, drag, or whatever. I'm using the uh, Luke Lot prop slot. Well, a combination of Luke Lot, that's the beveling, and F1, uh, the bow tie prop slot, to uh, see how that uh, again works. I like that one. Use a lot of there's some other research out there, but it's in my mind is not all that different. Once again, here's the pattern that I used. You can see it's. Just uh, right there, the profile of the, uh, and then that's the, that's the MIG. Got the KF airfoils. I'm using a Klein Fulton Type 4. So anyway, it's a beautiful day. Storm's coming this afternoon, but right now the sky is partly cloudy. Winds are very low, very mild winds. Perfect day for a maiden. So let's go take her up and see.
That's half throttle. Just using elevons, nothing fancier than that. Two, two channel set, a three channel setup. Fine Fogelman Type 4 wings, all made out of quarter inch. Owens Corning Fanfold. Which I thought was appropriate. Oh, it's not hit the ground, Robert. Not on the maiden. Once again, to be a great flyer. 
this is my five easy piece one. Which I will have to make a few modifications to. I don't like I don't like the uh, way I've done the missiles as far as getting in and out of getting things in and out of the plane and then it gives them not good access. I was afraid of that. I'm gonna have to go back to a more standard plan like I did on the fulcrum. Forty-two inches long, has a twenty-nine inch wingspan, just flown on three channels with a racing hobby micro motor. And there it is.